Hey friends, before we start today's episode, I have an important message to share with you. As you must be aware, due to certain new policies, you are not able to comment on our videos. But don't you worry my friends, you can still share your valuable feedback, comments, views and love at our email ID peekabookidsfeedback at gmail.com. Similarly, you can also visit our Instagram and Facebook page and continue to engage with us. We are looking forward to hearing from you. Hey Kitty, get ready quickly. It's an emergency. We need to visit China. China? Yes, little Kitty. People there are suffering from a new deadly outbreak caused by coronavirus and I have been called there to research it. Hey friends, I'm sure since the past few weeks you have heard a lot about this new disease called coronavirus. So in today's episode, let us try to explore what exactly this virus is. What are the causes, symptoms and measures we need to take to stay safe from this illness called coronavirus. Zoom in! Hey friends, by now, most of us are aware of the outbreak of the disease started in Wuhan, China, caused by a new species of virus called novel coronavirus. They belong to a member of the coronavirus family that was first identified in the 1960s. They are responsible for causing a range of diseases in humans, including the common cold and most severe and life-threatening forms like SARS and MERS. <coughs> but the crucial question is, how did the recent outbreak occur? Well, like other coronaviruses, it has come from animals too and is a form of zoonotic disease. Many of those infected patients either worked or frequently shopped in the Huanan Seafood Wholesale Market in the center of the Chinese city, which sells meat and live animals. It is believed that the virus might have been transmitted through direct contact between humans and animals, either by touching those animals or consuming them. And it can also spread via the air like other cold-causing viruses. However, unfortunately, the actual source of this disease isn't confirmed yet and scientists are still trying to figure it out. But what we know so far is its symptoms and how it affects humans. Yes, a person infected from this disease may suffer from dry cough, mild fever and breathing issues, which may go unnoticed at first. But as the virus spreads its legs inside the person's body, the patient might develop a severe case of viral pneumonia an infection that inflames the air sacs in the lungs and can cause them to fill with fluid or pus and needs immediate medical attention. Also, it is believed that these viruses are more likely to infect older people and those with a weak immune system that find it hard to fight these notorious viruses. But is there any way to treat this disease? Well, unfortunately, all this is a very new illness. No treatment for it is available so far. And because it is a virus, antibiotics won't work against it. Now, here comes the most crucial question. What can we do to stop this outbreak? Well, it is always advisable to practice good hygiene and caution by avoiding close contact with individuals suffering from acute respiratory infections 
or wild animals or livestock dead or alive also it would be best if you wash your hands with warm and soapy water regularly especially after being in direct contact with an infected person and if you find any of the mentioned symptoms do visit your doctor asap trivia time did you know the virus is named after its shape which takes the form of a crown with protrusions around it and hence is known as coronavirus also the full name of the current form of coronavirus under outbreak is the 2019 novel coronavirus or 2019 ncov hope you enjoyed today's episode until next time it's me dr binox zooming out ah uh, never mind hey kids you liked my videos didn't you before you go don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos <laughs> see you